Hey everyone, this is Justin with 702pros.com and in this video I'm going to teach you how to change the links on your website, the color of the links on your website. They're also called hypertext links and what, what they do is if you click on one of them, uh, they'll go to another website or another page on your website or another section or something like that. Uh, so I'm going to teach you how to change all the links on your website on a screencast and we're going to get started here in a minute. So um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below or uh, email me at 702pros at gmail.com. All right, let's get started. Hey guys, so we're on the screencast now and uh, we're going to be changing the hypertext on WordPress. Uh, so let's take a look. This is a, this is a hyper, hyperlink, I mean, the, the text for a hyperlink. That's what we're going to be changing. So this, what I'm highlighting here. Now, we see that it's blue and we want to change the color of that. So we're going to right click, left click inspect, and then you can see it has a tag of A and that's that signifies a, a link. That's HTML for a link. So uh, in order to change the color, we're going to go over here and this is the CSS or this is the HTML of the page where I'm hovering over and you can see each element as I as I go down the page, you can see the elements pop up. And to the right here is the CSS, the styling of, uh, of your website, essentially. Now, if we want to change this color, you can click that little box. And then you can change the color by sliding that. Or you can pick a color from the website by using an, this ink dropper. And you can select any color on the site, that one. Select the blue up here. Any any color that you see on the on the page that you're currently on. So we're just going to do red for uh, argument's sake. So we're going to copy this code, and then we're going to open up the customize tab. And then in the customize, we're going to select additional CSS. And now we're going to do a search to, to see if there's any A tags, um, CSS tags in this file. And there's a few of them. Um, so we're just gonna, I'll just put it in and see if that works, and then we can troubleshoot from there. So let's just find a spot in here, just go to the top so we know where it is. And then underneath there, paste it. There you go. And then publish. And just to let you guys know, this is kind of an intermediate CSS thing. So you kind of need to know CSS a little bit. If you want more information on that, I'll make another video if I get some comments. So the reason that didn't work is we didn't search the CSS title properly. Um, the class here, the A comma, you know, period page dash title it has to be exact. And how I'm searching is control and F, and then I just paste it in that class. And now we want to go to the bottom one and put it right underneath that because it's going to override all the ones above it. Whatever class is on the bottom is going to override the top ones. That's a, just a little tip for CSS. So plub, publish. Now it should be fixed. So it, it is fixed. Now we want to change the hover for this. It's black. I want to change it to a different color. So I'm going to right click left click inspect and then right click this highlighted portion here and then hover over for state and then left click hover so that's going to show us on the right the css now i can change that color like we did before to whatever color i want now i'm going to copy this css control c and then just paste it underneath there uh, I don't think we already have that, so it shouldn't be a problem. Now refresh the page, and there we go. The hover's changed. And it's not changing these because they have different classes. They're not just a... The, uh, the other tags don't have any classes. They're just the A. It's just calling the HTML. But if we wanted to change this specifically, we would hover over and find that CSS class that that changes it and then copy and you can paste in your additional CSS file 
publish. Cool, so we have that changed over. Now if we scroll down, we see all the, the bottom ones, the meta information, that one we just changed is, is kind of a slightly different color. But it, we didn't change these ones because it has a different class than the other uh, A tag. Now if you want to change all the links on the website, there's a, there's a pretty simple way to do this, and I just, I just had this idea. Um, so you don't have to do all of them. You're just going to do an A tag and then uh, paste in that color and then close out your CSS. Actually, you want to do an explanation point important because that's going to override everything. And then close out that CSS. We'll change that. We'll change that color in there and then publish. And that should change all the the links. All the links uh, are changed except for these meta ones that we had. Yeah, yeah even the ones up here are are changed. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it just overrided all the links on the website. Um, even the the header tags. That that important when you do that important thing. I don't really recommend it a lot of the times because sometimes it could be a headache if you're trying to figure out troubleshoot something. But if you just wanted to overwrite everything really quickly, that's that's one way to do it. Um, now, if we wanted to um, if we wanted to change these, I guess I guess they're not uh, specifically links. They're like the meta information, so they're just not they're not like real hypertext link or hypertext links. They're just span. Oh, because we, yeah, the the meta the class is um, is we we redid the span uh, within the link so it's not going to override that but um so we want to do a hover if you want to redo the hover for this um you just put this down here and then we're going to put the important tag in there too cuz that'll re that'll override all the hover effects and the focus effects and hover and uh hover is just when you're over it with your mouse it's going to change all of them. So now all of the the A tags, the hover, and just the static have been changed. All right. So, I mean, that's basically it for changing hypertext links. And this is a, you could use that, that last solution for a really quick way to do it. If you want any other videos, please leave a comment at the bottom or email me at 702pros at gmail.com.